this is Chirag and this is going to be my first tutorial video. Uh, it's about a series that I am thinking to make. The series about how I create my animations using Python. So let's get started. Uh, this is the first video and in this video I'm just going to explain how to create a very simple graph. Just a point graph. I'm going to explain first how dot syntax work in Python using an image because no matter what library you use you are going to use the dot syntax uh, so let's uh, look at this image and I will explain how to use the dot syntax in Python so you here you see a toolbox and it has two tools inside it a hammer and a screwdriver now if I want to use the hammer, then I want to uh, write it down in the code editor like what I am doing. Okay. So let's say if I want to pick the hammer out of the box in the code editor, I can write just box dot hammer. That means I am picking the hammer out of the box. Now this hammer can do two things. It can perform two tasks. The first one is with this part over here, you can take the nail out of the wall and this part here with this, you can punch the nail inside the wall. So based on what kind of task I want to perform, I can just write in the code editor like this box.hammer.nail in, which means I want to put the nail inside the wall and if I write uh, box dot hammer dot nail out then it means that I want to uh, take the nail out of the wall okay so that's how dot syntax works in uh, python and just like this we are going to use the dot syntax with matplotlib let's first import the library by using the keyword import and since we now have imported the library, we can use this tool. Uh, we can use this toolbox. Okay, so let's first just uh, open this toolbox like this. Matplotlib. Now, in order to open this toolbox, we will use the dot, or we will press the dot. It will open the toolbox for us, and I'll just pick any tool. These are all the tools it has to offer. So for now, I will just pick the tool pi plot okay now when i press enter you see uh, some kind of line is added over here uh, we'll just talk about it uh, later for now just ignore it now since we just picked the tool pi plot it can do a lot of things for us so if you'd like to again again if you'd like to see the list of things it can do for us just again press dot and you can see the list of things it can do for us right now right now i'm only interested in just two functions the one is uh, i'll just put brackets over here so what it will do it will create uh, some kind of plot for you but it will create the plot in the background it won't show you what you create so in order to see what you have created you need to call another function from the same toolbox like this matplotlib i will pick the same tool again pyplot and i will call another function show like this so now whatever i'm going to plot over here if i want to see the results i will just call another function like this matplotlib.pyplot.show so this is the basic syntax now back to this line you see this line was automatically added uh, over here so you kind of you can kind of use a shortcut you can just nickname this part this part over here you can just nickname it how you like i'm just going to nickname it like plt so now whenever you are going to write matplotlib.pyplot you can just write plt instead so i'm just going to replace this 
with PLT and also this with PLT so now it looks better and you don't need to uh, repeat this long keyword again and again and again over now you can just erase this part you don't need this line so these three lines you just for now you just remember uh, these three lines in the next section we are going to create a very simple point graph now we are going to create a very simple graph a point graph but before we need to look at something uh, this is the official documentation of matplotlib markers okay so what is markers uh, when you create a point graph uh, you can use different kind of styles for the point like your point can look like this or your point can look like this or it can even look like this okay so let's say, uh, let's say if you want your point to look like this then what you can do that you can use this marker over here and assign it as an argument inside plot over here so if you create a point it will look like a star so let's just do it the first thing by default uh, the plot takes first two arguments as x and y coordinates so uh, let's say we want to put our point on the origin so my x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is also 0 and now I want my point to look like star okay so what I can do I can just write marker equals star so that's it now save and run the code and just like that we have our first graph over here we have our point at 0 0 and it looks like a star let's say I want to change uh, the style of the point so I will again look at the documentation and let's pick a different style if I want my point to look like plus then I will replace the star with E. Okay, so let's do it. Yes, and replace it with P. Save and run the code. So now my point looks like a plus symbol. So that's how you can control the style for your point graph. And in next section, we are going to create multiple points. Now, let's say you want to create multiple points. So one thing you can do, you can just copy this line of code and you can paste it multiple times and just change the X and Y coordinates like randomly. like this two one nine zero zero right. so now save and run the code so as you can see now we have multiple points but if you look at the code like you can see there is a lot of repetitions over here like you can just avoid it okay you don't need to write it down like this there is a better way to do it so let's see now uh, there is a better way of doing it like you can see uh, there are a lot of repetitions over here you can just kind of avoid it by grouping the x and y coordinates so let's see uh, here in the function the first argument 0 1 7 1 9 0 they all are x coordinates and over here 0 6 5 2 0 8 these all are y coordinates so what we can do we can just group these coordinates like this x equals 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick each of this x, each of this x coordinates from over here and write it down, group it like this over here. 0, 1, 7, 1, 9, 0. I can do the same thing for i coordinates. Zero six five two zero eight. Okay. So now we have grouped our x and y coordinates. So instead of writing uh, or calling the plot function six times, you can just now call it only one time, like this. You can just say plt dot plot, and here you can just say x and y and marker equals plus okay. now you can just erase this part you don't need it so basically now you are going to plot all six point at once, like when you write x and y here, what it will create, it will create a group of points for you. Let's just save and run the code. Okay, so one thing here, we here we got a line graph, okay, because we are grouping the points over here. We also got our point to look like plus, symbol but the thing is we are by default getting a line graph so in order to avoid it what we can do we can enter another argument which is called line style and i can just say my lines i don't need lines so i can just write none now so now I'm getting uh, multiple points by just writing a single line of code. So that's it for now and uh, we will learn uh, something new in the next section.